The mushroom demonstrated at this moment is a classic honey mushroom. Its scientific name is Amilaria mediae. It is a mushroom only grows in autumn on the east coast. Amilaria mediae tends to grow in clusters, and the cap size of the mushroom in this video range from three to eight centimeters. It is reported the size of the cap can grow much larger. The stem of the mushroom is in general 10 to 20 centimeters when it matures. In the northeast of China, this mushroom is a highly treated edible mushroom and is an iconic mushroom for a regional dish called the Jiangbo stew of chicken and mushroom. For beginners who are not familiar with mushrooms, they may confuse this mushroom with psychedelic mushrooms in the genus Psilocybe, especially when you look at this photo. In a young specimen, honey mushroom has a veil and the stem of the mushroom will have brown bruise. However, it is not difficult to distinguish these mushrooms. In essence, honey mushroom is a saprobic fungus which causes root rot of trees. When it is young, the mushroom cap and stems are texturized, but these patterns will fade away in old specimen. It generally has a yellow-colored mushroom cap, and sometimes the stem may bruise gray or light brown at the base. What differentiates this mushroom from genus Psilocybe is a spore print. Honey mushrooms should always deposit white spore print, and this is a characteristic feature. In addition, the gill of honey mushroom is white and sometimes with a hint of light yellow. Hello guys! Uh, wow, this is such a weird position. Uh, I have to stay here because it's a hill, so I'm lying on the ground. And I want to introduce you to this beautiful mushroom. They are in the genus Amilaria. And I believe this one is because it has a ring here, so it could be uh, most probably the Amilaria miliae. Uh, the common name of this mushroom is called honey mushroom. And they are bad guy because they parasite, they are parasitic mushroom, cause the root rot of trees. This mushroom is a fall mushroom. They grow at the end of mushroom season. That means that when they start to grow, it means that the mushroom season is going to end. But we know that in the winter time, there are also other mushrooms, for example, the uh, oyster mushroom and also the enoki mushroom. Despite the fact that they are parasitic uh, to the forest, um, they are, as a matter of fact, a good edible because um, I can tell you in China, northeast of China, people sell this mushroom in the market, they try it, and then it's actually pretty expensive. If you go to Chinese uh, Asian market, I mean, I see it. When I go to the Asian market, for example, in Jersey, I will see people sell the Amilaria mushroom. They call it Zhen Mo. So Zhen uh, in Chinese means hazelnut uh, or hazelnut tree. I don't know whether if it's associated with hazelnut trees in the Northeast China. One typical way that we cook this mushroom is to cook this with chicken. What's going to happen if you cook this mushroom is it's going to become very slimy. The mushroom is not slimy by itself. It looks pretty dry. So when you cook the mushroom in the soup, uh, the polysaccharide will be extracted in the water and then it will form a very slimy soup. I don't know whether you're going to like the taste. I think in America, not many people eat it. Another thing about this mushroom for the edibility is that this mushroom uh, will cause some allergic reaction to some people. So if you want to consume this mushroom, you should always test that whether you will have allergic reaction. The mushroom doesn't have much smell. And let me have a nibble. Let me have a quick bite just for the raw mushroom, how to taste. Mm. I know why p Chinese people think it is delicious because the texture is very good. It has, um, it's like kind of like crunchy. I love mushroom with a lot of texture. This one has very good texture. It's kind of crunchy, stiff. When you bite it, you feel it's like Oh, remember it's the wood ear mushroom I talk about. It has this crunchiness. So this one is also the same. And uh, it doesn't have any taste. I think I taste a little bit sweetness. So if you come to the forest, you see this mushroom. 
uh, if you can correctly identify it, it's definitely worth picking it up. Armillaria miliae has a yellow-edged white ring, which is from the remnant of the veil after maturity. This mushroom can be found across the United States, and there are thousands of reports of this mushroom on iNaturalist website. There are quite a lot of other look-alike mushrooms comparing with Armillaria miliae. Sometimes this mushroom grows together with extremely toxic and deadly mushroom called Ganarina marginata. They share a similar look, and you should learn how to distinguish them. For more information on the look-alike mushrooms, you can refer to mushroomexpert.com or other legitimate website. Here are some photos I took for this mushroom. Look at them, how cute they are! If you like this video, please click the like button and subscribe. Your support will help to spread the knowledge of mushrooms and maybe to inspire people to build a better world. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time.